All right, so we're spending we're spending time down here. I kind of expect it, but at the same time, it's sort of normalizing. So what do we got going on here today? Well, still got about half hour before the New York Open. We came out of this uh, this hole pretty nicely. Some strong support, 31.6. Did not think not think they would go that low uh, you know really didn't see that many vector candles to recover they got they got the one that was there so now I'm expecting uh, price to retrace uh, just a little bit before uh, the New York open Let's see if this is a, a midweek reversal now and that price will come down maybe to about this area and then rock it back up uh, you know I sold a little bit again this morning uh, when I woke up um, but you know it's really hard to sell below 32.5 uh, you know typically there's not much room I don't know you know it's hard to say is it gonna spring is it gonna spring test I don't really know here but we switch over, we look at the RSI. The RSI is is low, but it's starting to climb here. So I think we get a little bit of a dip and rip, and uh, hopefully a midweek reversal here. Worst case scenario, you know, for scenario wise, I thought it would have been to come down to this orange line and reclaim this uh, vector candle over here. But they came pretty close, and we stopped, stopped just above it. So I'm not quite sure if they're going to try to claim it, but we did have such strong uh, buying as it got down, as it probed that lower level. And it does seem a little unlikely now, but every time I say that, that's what tends to happen. And then the thing I think is going to happen goes ahead and occurs. Let's bump it down to the hour. Take a look. You know, we got down, we're coming back up out of it. Um, yeah, you know, if you take the market maker's perspective, uh, they're building longs right now, right? Short volume is increasing. I think it needs to go up a little bit more. Here we go on the short volume. Uh, and I see it's been up higher in the past and here we are today still creeping up I think it needs to go up further before it gets knocked down on the volume front um, you know we're getting a little bit a little bit of an increase in volume at least at least over the last few days uh, we're coming up here today today looks pretty promising you know, nothing incredible in the last hour here. But I do like how volume tends to pick up. Dips here, it's still a little low. I believe we have a, a little bit of a supply issue here where supply is being absorbed. Um, you know, we're getting that last, last round of shaking out. People are kind of getting more bearish. I'm gonna be contrarian. So it's working out nicely for me. Now we might as well get the dogs in the picture here. There's one. There's the other. All right. So we're walking the dogs, setting ourselves up here. Got a little money, only five percent this time because we uh, got up at 3:30 and we were buying. <laughs> Had a little bit of dip, buddy. Not much. But I did do some buying uh, down there, and again, it's just it's just hard to sell below 32.5. Um, a lot of times, it's not much doing below that, and the springs are pretty rare, right? Really, only going below 31 a couple times here. So if you think about it, the odds are low. That's going to go down there again. And I also like to think that we need to see something like top of the cycle. But if our new range is going to be 
32 to 35 and um, we're gonna consolidate in there for a little while. then then you know I've got to play I gotta play off of that 35 again so I'm gonna wait see if it climbs up you know I'll mess around I'll sell a little bit if it gets to 34 four, five today or 34 and then look to buy back in you know 600 to a thousand below that um, you know, it's the only way I'm able to communicate, um, accumulate is to play these little, uh, one to three percent scalps after fees. Uh, it's not much, but, uh, you know, that's exactly what the market's given us. All right, so if we go back to the chart, uh, you know, there is an accumulation around the mean. 32.4 has been a nice number. You know, it's sort of... So we're going sideways again. So I think it's time to just hold on. Let it let it run up to at least 33. And then you could sell a little bit, buy back in a little lower, and let it run again.